Here are 10 video marketing trends redefining 2019. Number one is ephemeral stories that make an impact. What is ephemeral? That just means it gets deleted after a certain amount of time. Usually it's 24 hours on most story platforms. The ephemeral story format was invented by Snapchat, but then Instagram ripped it off. And now there's more people that use Instagram stories than all of Snapchat combined. Just that one feature on Instagram. So why do I want to post content that gets deleted after 24 hours? It's an emerging format that is a big hit with users. People really love that kind of in the moment, authentic view into your life or into your company culture. Brands are taking advantage of it. Definitely requires a lot of upkeep. You have to keep posting almost every hour to keep it fresh. Quickly recording everyone grouped in for a meeting. Put stickers on that. You can put face filters on there. Just open up your office, make it accessible. Don't put a ton of time into the production. Just use the story camera it's built into Instagram. Swipe left on your main feed to access the story camera. Check out all these stickers you can put on it. And some of these stickers are interactive as well. You can ask questions, you can have a countdown, you can put GIFs in there, you can even do a quiz. They just released that. Tons of video filters, a lot of them are face filters. The amazing thing about Instagram is that there's no age group for Instagram. People that are 13 to 103 use Instagram. If you look at the data, probably skews from 18 to 24, but there's still a really large audience. You want to connect with people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s. Instagram is a phenomenal place. About five years ago, people loved to put different social platforms into certain demographics. Now when you're talking about over a billion people on these platforms, the demographics, yes, there's sort of niches. By and large, the numbers are so huge that everyone is using them from all different demographics. Now you have more options than ever before. Tons of options, different channels, different formats, different sizes, different treatments. Different treatments. Treatments. It's a word. <laughs> when someone says, oh, you should make a video, well now that can mean 10 different things. You're not limited to just making a YouTube video. You can do an Instagram, Facebook. Take some time to familiarize yourself with as many different formats as you can. And always use cowbell. The traditional video commercial spot really was a 30 to 60 second piece. That was sort of the old school video commercial, but now that's really progressed into multiple different types of formats and different lengths and different placements. A lot of really great innovative video ad spots out there. YouTube is known for two really, the true view and the in stream. Those two really have a different application if there's a call to action and how long the video can be. Twitter also has in stream video ads, which are still pretty cost effective. And of course, Facebook is well known for allowing 16 by nine or 916 or even square video placements that can be on the Facebook wall, the Facebook network, or even Instagram. Always remember to include a call to action so once people watch your video, they can take the next step. Use cowbell. He's just gonna do that every time. Every time he's just gonna pull this out and hit the cowbell. All right, let's talk about videos without sound. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the audio is typically off, so it's important to put whatever you're gonna put audibly also in a visual format, relevant for captions or for title overlay. When you're making videos for social media, there's a variety of videos you can make. One of those categories is videos that might not even have audio at all. Maybe put some little ambient music track. The bulk of the video is all about the text overlays and the visual impact. You'll see a lot of news companies do that nowadays. They'll take a news article and adapt it. Text overlays match with some images about the news. You can do that for your business, whether that's a comparison video, feature update, videos that leverage motion graphics and text and images work really well on social media. Another benefit of videos without audio is you can mass produce them. If you find someone that's good at motion graphics, produce like 10 of these text-based motion graphics videos, put some stock music under it, schedule that out across a long period of time across social media. So it's a scalable way of making social media content. Here at Dove, we actually went through the process of creating a promotional video for every single one of our eBooks. So if you go to our resources page, dub.com forward slash resources. You can actually see if you click on those landing pages, there's a unique video for every single ebook that shows the main learning points. It's got a unique song piece. Let's talk about search engine optimization for video. Let's talk about SEO. One of the big trends in 2019 is that video is now highlighted in search results more than ever. And I'm not just talking about YouTube here. I'm talking about search results on Google, Facebook search, Twitter search. Videos now are highlighted. If you look at Google right now, 
a lot of the times if you put in a search term, we'll see YouTube videos that pop up above the fold. That's just gonna get more and more and more prevalent. So I think it's important to continue to put your content in text format, in blogs and articles and things like this, but also in video format. Because five years down the line, if you do not have video content, you probably will not show up on page one in Google. Towards the end of 2018, Google announced it would utilize artificial intelligence to support its new featured videos tool. Through transcribing the text, they're gonna be able to match your search query to the time portion of the video and let you play the video right from that exact second. Video and social media go hand in hand. There's such an emphasis on social media when it comes to producing videos. In fact, Mark Zuckerberg said that the future of Facebook is video. Facebook has a new section of their app called Facebook Watch that's dedicated entirely to video content. And they're leaning into longer form content as well. Whenever you post a video to a page, Facebook will have a little reminder to say, hey, is this video longer than three minutes? Because if it is longer than three minutes, we're going to send it to more people. So if you're making videos that are less than three minutes on Facebook, it won't be seen by as many people. Let's talk about diversification across platforms. If you're putting everything into one social platform, maybe it's time to start thinking about diversification. Start investing in several social platforms so you don't get locked in. You've seen this with Facebook. They will roll out a new algorithm change that completely affects how many people see your content. When that kind of thing happens, you don't want to be stuck on that platform if it affects you negatively. Make sure you have a presence on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. There's a ton of social platforms, so make sure you're on as many as you can. Another trend is increased access and affordability. The common misnomer is that video is expensive to produce. A lot of advertisers and marketers just say, we're just gonna use an image instead of a video because it's easier and it's quicker to push. But the reality is that if you can invest the time and the money sometimes into producing a video, even if it's super short, you're gonna get a massive boost to your ROI. So take the time to produce a video because it's gonna work way better than images a lot of the time. And don't forget, we all have a great camera in our pockets. All of us can be a filmmaker. It doesn't matter if you have the most high priced camera on the market, viewers can see right through a contrived effort to boost sales. And sometimes it might be better to just use your phone just to say, hey, you know what? We're relatable, we're authentic. Another trend is educational pieces. So if you think your video has to be filled with flashy gear Gimmicks, ton of funny jokes, big production value, explosions, all these glitzy and glammy things, you don't need them. Helpful and insightful information is paramount. Some marketers might want to steer clear of educational pieces because they think it's too boring, but an impressive 68% of web users say they'd rather watch a video to learn about a product than read a text article. Take those educational text pieces and turn them into videos. So video has traditionally been associated with consumer brands or B2C, which which is consumer packaged goods or direct to consumer goods. That has all changed now because video is a massive channel in the B2B space. In fact, for B2B, 94% of marketers are using LinkedIn to distribute content, which includes video. So if you guys haven't noticed already, video is taking over the LinkedIn feed. And in fact, very recently, people can stream live videos on LinkedIn. Another stat is that people are 20 times more likely to post a video on LinkedIn than any other format. Make sure you have a company page on LinkedIn and make sure you post your content to LinkedIn as much as you possibly can. Those are some of 2019's video marketing trends. And as you integrate videos into your advertising strategy, we would love to help here at dub.com. Dub.com is a video communication platform that helps you boost your sales by easily sending videos from Gmail, LinkedIn, a ton of other integrations, create custom video landing pages with call to actions, dive into all the details at dub.com. In a video marketing 2019, mm -hmm. video marketing 2019, mm -hmm. video marketing 2019, oh, and that's it for this. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Be sure to subscribe to all our channels for more videos.